or false, when a point is reflected across the line of symmetry, it remains the same distance from that line. That is complete, completely true because when you want to reflect a shape on the line of symmetry, the distance has to be exactly the same. It's just mirroring the shape. Which axis is the horizontal left and right one? The axis on the graph that goes from left to right or right to left, it's called the x-axis, which is the horizontal one. Which answer shows a reflection across the x-axis? When we say the x-axis, oh, uh, when we say the line that reflects across the x-axis, we mean the line or the shape that goes between the x-axis. So when we, when we say shows a reflection across, we mean between. So what you want to look at is the shape that goes between the x-axis. But, um, but when it says shows a reflection across the y-axis, we are talking about the left and right one. So the correct answer is number C because it shows the reflection and it's between the X axis, which is what we want. So C. Which answer shows a reflection over the X axis? So again, as we said, when we say answer shows that reflects over the x-axis, we mean between the x-axis. So this is between the x-axis and it shows the, the right distance and shape, which is just mirroring it. So the correct answer is the first one. A reflection over the y-axis will change the sign of the x-coordinates while the sign for the y-coordinates stays the same or changes the sign of the y coordinate while the sign for the x coordinate stays the same or changes the sign for the, both the x and y coordinates or nothing will change. So when we have a shape that reflects over the y axis or between the x axis, that is going to change the sign of the x coordinate and the sign for the y coordinate will stay the same. What color is the x-axis? So as we said, the x-axis is the horizontal one which goes from right to left or left to right, which is the x-axis and the color is red. So it's red. Which answer shows a reflection across the, uh, the y-axis? So again, across the y-axis, we mean between the y-axis. So the only one that shows a reflection between or across the y-axis is number D because it shows the correct reflection and distance and it's between the y-axis. So it is D. What axis is the image reflected over? So here we have, it doesn't matter if it's on the Y axis, but what we're talking about here is those two reflected shapes are between the X axis. So they go across the X axis because it's between. Oh, I'm sorry, it reflects over the Y axis because when it's negative x, we're talking about the x, and it's, when it's x-axis, it has to be the opposite, which is going to be y-axis. Is this picture being reflected in the y-axis 
or x-axis. So we have this picture right here. It's being reflected. And when we say reflected or across which axis, all you have to do is take a look at where the shapes takes place. And it takes place between the y-axis. So it's going to be across the y-axis. That is correct. What happens to a coordinate when it's reflected over the x-axis? Does it x stays the same and y changes to its opposite? x changes to its opposite and y stays the same? x and y stays the same or both x and y change to their opposite? What happens to a coordinate? Um, so when it's reflected over the x-axis, we're talking about when the two shapes are between the x-axis. And when we talk about the x-axis, the only axis that's going to change is the y-axis. So the x-axis stays the same and y changes to its opposite. What is a transformation? So here's the question we got wrong. We have X and Y reflected to negative X and Y. So when we say negative X, we are we the sign is different from the Y, but we are when we are talking about the X axis, the it reflects the Y axis. So if we're talking about the x-axis, it reflects the y-axis. If we are talking about the y-axis, it's going to reflect the x-axis. So it's always the opposite. Can you spot the reflection of this image? Here we have this image again. And all we have to do is take a look at one of these. Which one reflects the shape with the same distance? So clearly the one is this one, the third one, because it shows the same distance and it just reflects the image. Can you spot the reflection of this shape? So again, we have this shape. Again, all we need to take a look at is the distance and the shape if it's being re reflected. See this, is being reflected so this is called the reflection but this one is called the translation there is a difference between the translation and the reflection so the answer is the first one because it shows the same distance and it only reflects the image What is this transformation? We have X and Y reflected X and negative Y. So again, here it says negative Y, which is the opposite sign. So when we talk about um, the Y axis, it's going to reflect the X axis. As we said, it's always the opposite. If we're talking about Y, it reflects the X. If we're talking about X, it reflects the Y. So it's y and it reflects the x-axis what changes when an ordered pair is reflected across the y-axis so again when we are talking about reflection across the y-axis it's between the y-axis so let's say here is the line the y-axis it's between both of them does it change both the x value and the y value? x value only, neither the x value or the y value, or the y value only. Again, when we're talking about the y axis, so it's going to change the x value only. Always the opposite. Can you spot the reflection of this shape? 
So here we have this shape. And now we need to take a look at which one reflects the exact same. So it's definitely not this one because it doesn't show the same distance because it should be here, but no. Um, clearly it's the third one because it shows the same distance, the same shape only when it's reflected. So this one is the correct answer. What color is the Y axis? So we talked about the Y axis and the X axis. The Y axis is the vertical one, which goes from up to down, and it shows you the sign here. So the Y axis is the vertical that goes up and down, which the color is black. So. Can you spot the reflection of this shape? So here we have this shape. And now we need to take a look at the reflection of it. Now, the first one is the correct option. We don't have to take a look at the others because it shows the same distance. It's the reflection of it. And again, this is the translation of this image. But this one is the reflection. There is a difference, so the correct answer is the first one. Can you spot the reflection of this image? So here we have this image and now it shows the line, the reflection line. So now this is the translation, but the reflection is the second one because it reflects the image. It mirrors it. But when uh, when we're talking about the translation, it takes the image and it slides it to another place. But when we, this is uh, the reflection is another thing, which it only moves. Um, it moves the image and it reflects it or mirrors it. So it changes the face or it changes the face of the shape can you spot the reflection of this image so here we have this image the reflection of it is definitely the first one because it shows the distance and it's only the reflection of the image Another name for reflection is dilation, turn, slide, or flip. So we we mentioned the, the reflection is when it mirrors the shape, but there's also another word which is flips. So another name for reflection is flip or mirrors. Which axis is the vertical, the up and down one? So we talked about the X axis and now we're talking about the Y axis, which is the vertical one, the one that goes up and down. So Y axis. What axis is the image reflected over? So here we have this image. And when we're saying which axis is it reflected over, we mean which axis is between both of the image. And as you can see here, it's the X axis. So we're going to choose the X axis, which is between the two shapes. Is the picture being reflected in the Y axis or X axis? So again, the two shapes, all you have to take a look at is the axis between them, which is the Y axis. So it's the Y axis and that is correct.
what axis is the image you reflected over? So again, here we have this image and we, again, we take a look at the shape and the axis between them, which is clearly the Y axis. It doesn't matter if it's above the Y axis or the, or the X axis. All we have to take a look at is the axis between them. So it's the Y axis. Reflections over the x-axis changes the y-axis, x-axis, x-coordinate, or y-coordinate. So again, not only when we talk about the x-axis, it's going to change the y-axis, but if we're talking about the x-axis, it's going to change the y-coordinate. So it's the y-coordinate. If the dotted figure is the image, the original figure was reflected over the x-axis or the y-axis. So again, one, one of this is the original um, figure. This is the reflected one, and this is the original figure. The original figure, again, it's, it's being reflected over or across the y-axis because it's between both of the shape, so it's the y axis. What happens to a coordinate when it's reflected over the y axis? x and y stays the same, both x and y changes to their opposite, x stays the same and y changes to its opposite, or x change to its opposite and y stays the same. Again, we're talking about the x-axis, um, sorry, we're talking about the y-axis. So if we're talking about the y-axis, the x-axis changes and its opposite and y stays the same. Reflections over the x-axis changes the x-coordinate or y-coordinate. Again, we are talking about the x-axis so if we're talking about the x-axis the y-coordinate is going to be reflected over again it's always the opposite state the line of reflection so here we have this image it's being reflected over reflection across x1 reflection across y1 Reflection across y-axis or reflection across the x-axis. So the line of this reflection is the x-axis and it's being reflected over the x-axis. What is a reflection? Is it when you flip or mirror an object across a line or when you resize an object or when you slide an object from one place to another, or when you turn an object around a point. Last time we talked about was the translation, but this one is the reflection, which is completely different. And it is when you flip, and, and flip and mirror is another word for reflection. So it's when you flip or mirror an object across a line. Flipping a figure is, a translation, dilation, reflection, or rotation. Again, flip or mirror is another word for reflection. So, what axis is the triangle being reflected over? So here we have this triangle it's, and the reflection of it. And again, all we have to take a look at is the axis between both of the shapes, which is the y-axis. Can you spot the reflection of this shape? So again, we have the shape and we have to choose one of them, which has to be exactly 
um, the reflection of it. So we have this one. This is not correct because it's not the same distance. The correct answer is the last one because it shows the reflection of it. And it's the same distance, so we are all done.